We are living in a great epoch. Weekly advances in AI and robotics, as well as incredible discoveries and creations, are on the way. We'd soon leave all of the difficult and difficult chores to them and spend a different kind of life as we see in the movies. So are you excited about this and want to take a detailed look at the recent inventions in the robotic world? Stick around to the end of the video then. Today, we are going to share with you the latest robot and future technology news. So watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome back to the AI Universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. So without further delay, let's dive into today's topic. Artificial intelligence biases are being addressed. Artificial intelligence is unquestionably present in our daily lives. AI is so prevalent that people seldom think about how it works, from smartphones to ride-sharing applications to mobile check deposits. Artificial intelligence and machine learning, on the other hand, are at the center of one University of Oklahoma scientist's research, particularly as it pertains to weather. Amy McGovern, Ph.D., is the director of the University of Oklahoma's National Science Foundation AI Institute for Research on Trustworthy AI in Weather, Climate, and Coastal Oceanography. McGovern, an American Meteorological Fellow, has been researching extreme weather since the late 1990s. Throughout her work, she has seen a rapid advancement in the field of artificial intelligence, all while creating what she thinks are reliable AI ways to prevent weather and climate calamities. McGovern and researchers from Colorado and Washington have recently found significant differences in AI, claiming that the methodologies are not impartial, particularly when it comes to geodiversity. Researchers at OU are investigating ethical AI approaches in the realm of environmental sciences. Algorithms for artificial intelligence are based on mathematical formulae that are considered objective. If not designed and implemented carefully, they may accidentally do more damage than good. We believe that our findings will pave the way for AI systems and environmental research to be more ethically informed. Next, how do you compete with robots? When it comes to the future of intelligent robots, one of the most often asked questions is, how many jobs will they eliminate? Whatever the answer is, the next question will certainly be, how can I ensure that my job isn't one of them? A team of EPFL roboticists and economists from the University of Lausanne just released a paper in Science Robotics that answers both issues. They created a technique to assess which of the already existent tasks are more likely to be done by machines shortly by merging scientific and technical literature on robotic abilities with employment and income information. They also established a mechanism for recommending career moves to positions that are less vulnerable and need the least amount of retraining. Several studies have been conducted to estimate how many professions would be mechanized by robots, but they all focus on software robots, such as voice and picture recognition, financial robo-advisors, chatbots, and so on. Furthermore, depending on how work needs and software skills are measured, such projections might vary dramatically. Professor Dario Floriano, director of EPFL's Laboratory of Intelligent Systems who led the study, says, Here we consider not only artificial intelligence software, but also really intelligent robots that perform physical work and we developed a method for a systematic comparison of human and robotic abilities used in hundreds of jobs. The study's most significant contribution is a novel mapping of robot capabilities to work needs. The team looked at the European H2020 Robotic Multiannual Roadmap, a European Commission policy document that is updated regularly by robotic specialists. The MAR lists dozens of skills that are now required in robots or may be necessary for the future organized into categories such as manipulation, perception, sensing, and human interaction. The researchers used a well-known scale for gauging the amount of technological development, technology readiness level, to measure the maturity level of robotic abilities by reading research articles, patents, and product descriptions. They utilized the ONET database for human abilities, which is a widely used resource database on the U.S. job market that defines about 1,000 jobs and breaks down the skills and knowledge that are most important for each of them. A group of researchers determined the likelihood of each present job being done by a robot. The lowest danger of being replaced by a machine is for physicists, while the highest risk is for slaughterers and meat packers. Food processing, building and maintenance, construction and extraction occupations tend to be the most vulnerable to automation. The next one on the list is artificial neurons to use photonic circuits to reach quantum. Artificial intelligence has grown increasingly common in recent years with applications including speech recognition, picture identification, medical diagnosis, and many others. Quantum technology, on the other hand, is capable of processing power much beyond that of even the world's most powerful supercomputer. Physicists at the University of Vienna have now created a novel technology known as the quantum memristor that might allow these two worlds to collide, unlocking hitherto unimaginable powers. The experiment was carried out in partnership with the Italian National Research Council, 
and Politecnico di Milano on an integrated quantum processor that operates on single photons. The research is featured in the current edition of Nature Photonics. Neural networks are mathematical models that are at the heart of all artificial intelligence applications. The biological structure of the human brain, which is made up of linked nodes, inspired these models. Neural networks can be mathematically trained by tuning their internal structure until they are capable of human-level tasks, such as recognizing our faces, interpreting medical images for the diagnosis, and even driving our cars, much like our brain learns by constantly rearranging the connections between neurons. Having integrated devices capable of swiftly and effectively completing the calculations necessary in neural networks has therefore become a key academic and corporate research priority. Physicists from the University of Vienna, the National Research Council, and Politecnico de Milano have shown that a device with the same behavior as a memristor may be created. Single photons propagate via waveguides laser written on a glass substrate and are steered on a superposition of many routes in their experiment. One of these channels detects the flux of photons passing through the device, and this amount regulates the transmission on the other output via a sophisticated electrical feedback system. Following that, AI can accurately classify breast density. According to research published in Radiology Artificial Intelligence, an AI tool can reliably and consistently classify breast density on mammograms. The quantity of fibroglandular tissue in the breast that may be observed on mammograms is referred to as breast density. High breast density is an independent risk factor for breast cancer and it lowers mammography sensitivity by disguising underlying lesions. As a result, several states in the U.S. have legislation requiring women with thick breasts to be altered after a mammogram so they can choose their further testing to increase cancer diagnosis. Breast density is visually measured on two-view mammograms in clinical practice, most typically using the American College of Radiology Breast Imaging Reporting and Data System four-category scale, which ranges from nearly fatty breasts to highly dense breasts. Visual categorization is susceptible to inter-observer variability or differences in evaluations between two or more persons, as well as intra-observer variability or differences in repeated assessments by the same person. To circumvent this unpredictability, Italian researchers created software for breast density categorization based on deep learning with convolutional neural networks, a powerful sort of AI capable of recognizing small patterns in photos beyond the human eye's capabilities. The program, known as Trace 4B Density, was taught by the researchers under the supervision of seven qualified radiologists who independently examined 760 mammographic pictures. Trace 4B Density was able to identify between low-density and high-density breast tissue with an accuracy of 89%. On a data set of 384 mammographic pictures, the tool was externally validated by the three radiologists who were closest to the consensus. Additional experiments are being planned by the researchers to better comprehend the software's full potential. Then there's hack-resistant deep neural networks, vaccinating deep neural networks to prevent attacks. How may purposeful vandalism alter how an autonomous car views a stop sign if a sticker on a banana can make it appear as a toaster? Engineers, biologists, and mathematicians at the University of Michigan have developed an immune-inspired protection mechanism for neural networks that can fend off such attacks. Deep neural networks are a type of machine learning technique that may be used for a wide range of categorization issues. Image recognition and machine vision, natural language processing, language translation, and fraud detection are among them. It is conceivable, however, for a malicious individual or group to alter the input significantly and lead the algorithm down the incorrect path, so to speak. The robust adversarial immune-inspired learning system was created by the Michigan team to safeguard algorithms against such assaults. Rails is the first adversarial learning technique that is patterned after the adaptive immune system, which acts differently from the innate immune system, said Alfred Hero, the John H. Holland Distinguished University professor who co-led the research published in IEEE Access. While the innate immune system attacks infections in a broad sense, the human immune system may develop new cells that are specifically geared to fight particular pathogens. Deep neural networks, which are already inspired by the brain's information processing mechanism, have discovered that they may also benefit from this biological process. Rails works by stimulating the immune system's inherent defenses to detect and eliminate questionable inputs to the neural network. To begin working on it, the scientists looked at how mice's adaptive immune systems responded to an antigen. The tissues of genetically engineered mice with fluorescent markers on their B-cells were employed in the investigation. The scientists developed a model of the immune system by cultivating cells from the spleen and bone marrow together, symbolizing the immune system's headquarters and garrison. 
The biological team was able to trace the formation of B-cells, which began with a trial-and-error technique to create an antigen-binding receptor. When B-cells converge on a solution, plasma B-cells are produced to capture any antigens present, and memory B-cells are produced to prepare for the next attack. Simulated human eye movement is the next step, and it tries to train metaverse platforms. Duke University computer scientists have created virtual eyes that perfectly imitate how humans look at the world, allowing corporations to train virtual reality and augmented reality systems. The tool, dubbed ISIN for short, would assist developers in creating apps for the fast-developing metaverse while safeguarding user data. The findings have been improved for presentation at the International Conference on Information Processing and Sensor Networks, which will take place May 4-6, 2022, and is the premier yearly platform for research in network sensing and control. By looking at a person's eyes alone, you can tell whether they're reading a comic book or sophisticated literature, said Maria Gorlatova, a Nortel Network's assistant professor of electrical and computer engineering at Duke. Eye movement data is extremely significant to organizations developing metaverse platforms and applications. Developers may customize information to a user's engagement reactions or lower resolution in their peripheral vision to save processing resources by reading their eyes. Researchers developed a model that extracts where those characteristics are on a speaker then design their virtual eyes to statistically replicate the time spent focused on each location. iSyn can watch Dr. Anthony Fauci's movies and compare them to data from actual people's eye movements. Companies can utilize the results as a starting point for developing new metaverse platforms and applications. After engaging with individual consumers, commercial software can tailor its algorithms. With this being said, today's episode on the newest futuristic technologies and robots comes to an end. Let us know in the comment box which one of them interests you the most. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon as well. And we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace!